in XPS measurement three phenomena occurring. The first one is the ejection of photoelectrons and this is basically we call X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. The second one is X-ray fluorescence. The third one is called OJ phenomena, OJ effect or OJ electrons. So let's differentiate between all these three. These are the fundamental equations behind X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. When we simply bombard X-ray on the atom, the core electron ejected and those electrons are called photoelectrons. We are only interested in the kinetic energy of these electrons and the XPS detector basically detect these electrons, the kinetic energy of these electrons. So now, now we know that initially this photon has this energy, non-energy from the X-ray source and it is equivalent to the binding energy of the electron the kinetic energy of the photoelectron and this is the work function of the spectrometer not the sample it is the work function of the spectrometer so when we rearrange this equation so the binding energy is equal to the photon energy which is known here known here the kinetic energy comes from the xps detector and this work function has a constant value and we easily calculate the binding energy once we calculate the binding energy, then the XPS graph is, looks like this. Binding energy here in electron volt. And here is number of electron, number of electrons counted. The detector count the number of electrons. And we have XPS peak here. And the, 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 the intense peaks come from photoelectron. The photoelectron peaks represent, for example, this is neon here or oxygen. This is neon. So we will write neon here and one s here this peak right other peak maybe from 2p1 here so we can also write here that neon here uh, 2p 2p this is 2p and this is basically half here another peak and the oj peak the oj electron peaks we represent by somehow kln this is this is the oj peak so in xps we have only peaks from uh, photoelectrons photoelectrons and from OJ electrons and not from uh, X or F from X-ray fluorescence because XPS only detect the electrons, not the X-ray. Now, once we have the vacancy here in the core uh, orbitals or shell, and now the atom is basically in the excited state, this atom has to relax. So how it will relax when this vacancy is filled by another electron so there is a probability that the electron from the higher orbitals fill this vacancy and once there is a transition from higher to lower and we know there will be emission of electromagnetic radiation and this electromagnetic radiation is in the form of x-ray so here is this is why it is called x-ray fluorescence phenomena but this phenomena is very very weak phenomena in xps we, we do not consider and the second important thing is XPS mean X-ray photoelectron. We are interested in photoelectrons or simply electrons. The XPS detector basically detect electrons, not X-ray. So we, we, we are not interested in this one and we don't consider this phenomena an XPS analysis. Now let's come to OJ phenomena. There is a vacancy here. So once this vacancy was filled in XRF, so there was addition, additional emission of X-ray here. So now here, when in OJ effect, when this electron fill the vacancy, there must be something additional to happen. And what additionally happening here? Electron eject from the atom automatically. And this electron we call OJ electron. So this, this electron, OJ electron is represented by KL1, L3 because initially the K vacancy was filled by L1 here and another electron emit from the L3. So this is why this OJ electron is represented by KLL. This is, this is how the, 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 the OJ electron also uh, comes from this uh, uh, place and fill this vacancy. And here we have W vacancy, W vacancy, W or nice uh, vacancy here. This is uh, the, the final, the final atoms. The final atom may be 
the final state may be double double oil here and initial was for, for this vacancy only so this is the og effect in xps uh, we, we have the peaks from og electron also and we have the peaks from uh, photoelectrons. 